Hey. Hey. You're reading. Is that so hard to believe? I don't know many people <laughs> who skip school to read. Your mom said I could come up and talk to you. Is that okay? Because if it's not okay, I can turn around and leave and we can talk oh, later. Dear. That doesn't mean that you're... It's all good. Okay. All right. So why did you? What? Skip school. I got worried. Oh, as you can see, I'm fine. But why? Am I fine? Were you not at school today? I didn't want to go. That's not how it works. <laughs> I didn't want to go, and I didn't go. I think that's exactly how it works. People were looking for you, not just me. I could have called, texted. I did. I haven't really been on my phone. What's going on? <sighs> Too much. With you? With everything. Did I do something? It's not about you. I saw a dress I like. Great. It's blue, not dark blue like navy blue or anything, light blue, kind of ocean blue, day sky blue. Do you look good in blue? I don't know. You've never worn blue? I try not to wear any colors associated with gangs. Isn't that like every color? Do you know of a gang that rocks? Tangerine? I thought you'd at least be a little enthusiastic. <laughs> Why? Why? What do you mean? We won. We didn't win anything. Are you sick? No. Are you feeling lightheaded? What are you getting at? You're acting like nothing happened. What did happen? What important happened? The prom. Our prom is happening. The school can't do anything about it. The administration doesn't have a say. It's our own event, not theirs. They're a non-factor. It doesn't matter what they have to say or what anyone in town has to say. The night is ours. We can go together. I mean, my God, isn't that good? Yeah, it's good. Thank you. But it's not enough. Someone's power hungry. And you're white. Wow. Thank you so much for letting me know because I had, oh my word, I had no idea. I mean, this whole time I thought I was, I don't know, something else. All right. But, but you have opened my eyes to the truth. I got it. So you're saying I'm not purple or blue or one of those big bad gang colors? If I'm white, does that mean that you're- I said I got it. What's your point? That's why it's enough for you. Because I'm... Hey. hey. What's ever been taken away from you? Your personal hell is being grounded or falling off the cheer pyramid. My personal hell is getting accused of stealing something from a store I've never even been in. You feel like a hero, like... You feel like oh, you won something, that like you've achieved something. You sure know how to flatter a girl. I'm not making light of what you're saying. What you're saying is real and it's important to me. It is. 
but I'm just trying to hold on to the feeling I came in with. A good feeling. The feeling I had this whole day at school, which you didn't show up to for reasons. I didn't want to go to school and have the cameras in my face. My microphone's being shoved on my mouth for questions. I don't need that attention. Well, you play football. Attention is your medicine. Sometimes you put in weeks of putting your body through hell for two minutes of glory. I like the attention I get when I hit that touchdown and the crowd goes crazy. Oh, we will make a strong play when that gets completed and we win the game at the last second. Why does the clock runs down? Okay, then. <laughs> don't want attention from people who want to know what I think about some dumb dance. It's not dumb. To who? To me. Okay. It's not. It's a dance. It'll happen, then it'll end. <laughs> if you're still talking about your prom night when you're 30, then you're... What? <laughs> Nothing. No, finish what you're gonna say. Forget about it. No. Yes. If you're 30, still talking about your prom night, you really then want you're what? Clearly. Then you're not living much of a life. Wow. To be frank. My mom and dad talk about their prom night all the time. At least once every six months. It was an important night for them. For their relationship. I was hoping the same would be true for us. Well, let's not talk about your parents. Well, you started it. The parents don't like me! That's not true. I say they like me. They accept that I'm not leaving you. Not the same thing. This isn't about them. Your parents have lived nowhere else but he, this county. So? They went to the same school we go to. You're calling my parents nobodies. Oh. That's what it sounds like. They're homebodies. How about that? Better? No. They don't know anything that's happening outside of the same one road they've been driving down their entire lives. I bet they've never even seen a Mexican. We're living in a bubble. It's like we're trapped under a dome and have our minds like wiped out so that we think the little problems here are the biggest thing in the world. But there's real shit going on. This isn't going to solve. Out in the real world, where the real shit goes down? And it's not even about what it used to be about. It used to be about equality. When people taking a stand for something, using something small to bring awareness of something bigger. Now it's all changed. Changed how? But those news people only want to see the white people smile and talk about how progressive they are. And the black people smile and talk about how grateful we are. Like it's some holy day because we get to go to a dance. But the school still doesn't care about us. You said it yourself. They have nothing to do with it. But if we don't show our pearly whites for the three people who watch the evening news, then we're taking away from the hard work the county has done for us. We should be on our knees, kissing y'all's feet. I saw that newspaper article. The other one with the group picture? It came out this morning. Did you see it? I have a copy. There's only one black person in that picture. And she's mixed. So light skin that the flash of the camera causes confusion. She could be really light or she could be white. Who's to tell? 
but it's the same shit on a different day. We're footnotes on your victory. Or we're boyfriends who should bow down to our white queens. I have never told you to bow down. Hey, you did. Well, things might change now that... What? Now that there's publicity. <sighs> so... I'm supposed to be happy that the school only wants to fix racist policies when there's heat on them? When there's cameramen just knocking at the door? It's not like that. Isn't it, though? Well, you're a senior. What does it matter to you what changes? According to you, it should matter. A lot. Do it for the next class. Think about how good it'll feel for them. So they want me to dance. They want my friends to dance. Why? Smiling and shucking and jiving for what? That didn't stop that boy from being shot last year by his neighbor, did it? Or well, that Puerto Rican boy who was wearing his mother's heels. You remember him? got knocked out cold in the locker room. I saw it. I was there. But let's dance, right? That's going to shift the plates of the earth and fix the world. We're going to be standing on the moon singing Kumbaya in no time. Because we can dance together. And yes, I'm happy. I'm happy that I get to dance with you. I will not minimize the joy I feel about that, okay? But the camera is going to leave real soon. We won't be trending next month. I don't want to just dance for one night. I mean, I want to feel free to dance in the street on, on my block in the next state over. Look, I don't always need to fit in but sometimes I don't want to stand out either. But I don't have many options. I'm stuck with who I am, and that ain't gonna change whether I'm Wilcox or Atlanta. I just don't get it. I know I don't get it. God, you don't think I know? You don't think I've always known? I come in here to see you, to comfort you, to understand you. All I ever try to do is understand you. I fight. Oh, you fight. I fight for you. You fight for me to dance. I fight for us. I fight for this. I have been here this whole time. No matter what was said or done or assumed, I have been by your side. You can leave. That's not the point. Do you know how much crap I've had to take for dating you? I'm sorry. I'm not asking for a sorry. I'm asking for a common ground. A little bit. All I'm asking is for you to see me. See me. Hear me. The words I'm saying. I've been through so much stress. And by the way, my personal hell isn't being grounded. My personal hell is being kicked out of the house. It's being beat up by some random group of girls for loving you. You don't know. You don't know. No, what? How hard it is to grow up here and not be a racist. Or at least how tempting it is to pretend for my sake. It went from Martha, she's the smart one, to Martha, she's the one stating the ape. Oh. Yeah. Something that was really said to me. If you don't believe me, 
believe you. I'm not the one who said it. Did you say something? When you know, whoever did say it said it? Speechless. You didn't. I listen. All I want is love. Like the love I feel for you. Like the love I try and push out into the world. And it's hard. It's hard. And I know it's hard for you. I know. But it hurts for me too. Yeah, it hurts for the moment. This is not a moment for me. I know. It's my life. I mean, do you care about any of this until we started dating? I mean, like, really, be real. If you'd started dating some lumberjack looking guy, would you even care? And if you did, would you care this much? I don't know. Exactly. I'm not saying it's faultless. We're dating now, but let's look down the line, like 10 years. We might be together, we might not be. Don't do this. If we break up, you might go and have a kid with some guy named Jake or Randy or Paul. I mean, and that kid is not gonna have any problems. They'll run into no trouble. White picket fence to match their skin. No questions asked. But have a kid with me, and that kid will be confused. They will have all the questions. Their hair and their hands will be crimes they have no answer for. It's not only about you. It's not only about me. It's not only about our class and class after us. It's not only about our prom. What about their prom? What about their life? What about us? What about how you call me nicknames and pet names because my name is too ethnic for your tongue. And Keyshawn, not Sean, not Key. You and everyone else worried about yourselves when it's, it's not about you. It's bigger than us. It's so much bigger than us. That's something, right? It's something. Then for one single night, let's dance with that something and then the rest of the world can follow in our tune. We can't fix it all in a day. So we might as well enjoy it and see what comes out of it. I'm going. You don't have to worry about that. Okay. Yeah. I'll leave you alone. I'll let you finish reading. <laughs> Will I see you at school tomorrow? Yeah. Text me. I will. It's a good thing you're standing out. At least this time, I think. Thing. I do. We'll see. Never know. It might be so good that you'll be talking about it when you're 30. <laughs> Let's not take it too far now. It'll be on the internet forever. I 
guess that's true. I'll see you later. Keep smiling for me, please. I'll try. I love you. Yeah. I said I love you. And I'm sorry. I didn't say any of that for an apology. I know, but I am. For what? Being comfortable at the expense of your discomfort. Yeah. I'll see you later.